My name is Ryan Lees. I live here in Kona. And if you're in the real estate industry in Hawaii, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can use AI in your business. I know you guys have probably heard AI, AI, AI. Well, I made specific tools if you're in real estate in Hawaii, specifically on the Big Island. It's all free, no paid account needed. Backstory, this video is inspired by one of my, or two of my favorite entrepreneurs, Alex Ramosi and Gary Vaynerchuk. And just like them, I'm here to deliver value to you guys for free. So let's just dive in. All right, first things first is you will go to chatgpt.com, create an account or log in if you already have an account. Again, free account, don't need to pay, uh, don't need a paid account. All right, so this is the Big Island Zoning Guide GPT, Chad, Chad GPT that I made. Uh, I made this because it's a lot easier than going on the county website and looking through all the PDFs. I just actually uploaded a PDF to this GPT and it can search it and ask it questions. So like there's some, you know, prompts here, you know, you can, and you can make your own too. So I'll just give you an example. Like what can I do on family ag five? It kind of gives you a breakdown of all that. And then you could ask stuff like, can I vacation rental a home that is in the CV zoning? So if you had a property that was like zone CV, and it was a house, it tells you what you can do with it. You know, if you've heard of a family ag five versus just ag five. So like what is, you know, family ag five versus regular five. Uh, it will tell you what the, you know, what the differences are. I think it'll be really helpful. You don't have to search through all the different zonings to compare the two, you know, list out different zoning classification and a short description. That's going to search the knowledge because it's got all the stuff that I've uploaded to it. And it will give you RS, RD, RM, RSX, Family Ag. And then if you want to ask it more information about each of those things and prospective uses, yeah, and then you can just ask questions. So uh, if you guys have questions on this one, let me know. But let's jump into the next uh, prompt that I made. All right, next up is Social Media Planner. Like I mentioned before, I need to actually start using this. It's specifically aimed at if you're a realtor, but mortgage professionals, title people, Anyone in real estate, it's kind of just centered towards that. I've got like Gary V's content strategy up there, Alex Ramosi, a bunch of different entrepreneurs and they're kind of the psychology of what they, why they post the way they post and all these different things. So if you know who Gary V is, you could say, if Gary V was a realtor, what would he post? You know, give me posts and captions for one week and then you kind of edit it from there and you can get really detailed with it so it'll give you the day by day that way you don't spend the time sit there and think about what you got to post so that's social media one last one let's jump into it all right so if you want to stay on top of the market here i know everyone's always probably asking like you personally or just maybe you're just curious like what is the market doing what's it been trending i uploaded the last two and a half years of market data, actually three years, I did the full three years. And so you can ask like, you know, in each month I'm gonna update it, but like how many condos sold in Kona in July, 2024 versus July, 2023. And then you can like ask it, what is the percent increase year over year? Okay, so it'll give you equations like this. And, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. So please play around with it. Uh, it's got all the information for the entire big island. I'll be adding the other islands as well, and then I'll give you a breakdown. So hopefully this helps. If you guys think it's uh, a useful tool, please share it with someone else and let me know if, if it's a uh, good, bad, or in between.